large congressional districts, 22 percent of the land mass, very rural area, um, and actually on this topic, community banks are a very important part of my my district. I don't, I'm not familiar with the movement you're talking about, but uh, let me speak just to the value of community banks and what they do. Uh, they have done let, let, let me let people know what the question was. I, I mentioned the movement that's afoot to have people take their money out of the institutions that have been too big to fail, got huge taxpayer bailouts, and turned around and gave all their executives that made all the bad decisions huge bonuses. You know, folks feel like you know Congress has been captured to a large extent, and we haven't seen a lot of accountability. Maybe the way to make these banks a little bit smaller, cut them down to size, take our money out of those banks, and put them in community banks that are doing the responsible thing, managing our money effectively, lending it to the people that need it, and uh, being reasonable. What do you think about the idea? Well, I, the community banks, I think, are, uh, 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 as I was saying, in my rural district, community banks are... Uh, uh, are very successful actually and and they and they're not uh, an entity that contributes to the financial meltdown that we had uh, in fact our community banks are are just that they know the community they've been lending to the same families for generations and they don't uh, they wouldn't want people to go over their head and overextend themselves even as you know, I think Congress had a central role in this financial meltdown with Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae and, uh, and the financial services leadership uh, over the past number of years, uh, and specifically the Democratic leadership who really, under uh, you know, President Clinton, who's, you know, who wanted every American to be able to own a home, and that's admirable, but I would say it's an incomplete sentence that every American should own a home that can afford to make the payments. You know, that's just being physically, fiscally accountable and responsible. And so I, I very much, uh, you know, uh, certainly support the, 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 the service and the role that community banks play in, play in our communities. And, and I am not aware of the move that you referred to, but it wouldn't surprise me that people have confidence in community banks. I don't want to get too personal or put you on the spot too much, but would you consider closing any accounts you have with, say, Bank of America or City or any of the larger banks and moving your personal money? into the smaller banks. Well, I, where I where I uh, do my banking, I uh, you know I grew up in the heart of my congressional district. It's very rural. My my banking is with community banks and local credit unions. So. I think a lot of people think you're setting a good example. Thanks very much. Yeah.